Hi, this is Martin from DDTSB. I just wanted to show you two quick steps that we can see some of the new users are not yet familiar with. And it's a shame when you have the program if you don't find a TSB because you don't use the right way to search in the program. So please have three minutes to see this guide. This example shows how you could miss out on a TSB if you start by searching for a TSB on the fault codes. This example is on a Mazda CX-5 with a 2.2 engine Skyactiv diesel. We go to fault codes and let's say you want to see if we have a TSB on P0299. So you see there's no TSB on a Mazda. But if you use the program as we intend to, we start by going on the bulletins and we press the fault code here. Now you can see we actually have a TSB on this fault code. So why didn't it appear under the fault code section? It has to do how we use fault codes. The P0299 is in fact an OPD fault code. And if you look closely here at the right, you can see there's 46 TSBs linked to this fault code using the OPD protocol. Many of the cars from Mazda and uh, Japan, they use the OPD. They don't deviate from that in the meaning of the fault code. So we use that in the program. Cars like Mercedes and German cars, they are more prone to use another interpretation of the fault code. And that's why we have their specific meaning of the fault code in the program. So if you should have found this on the fault codes, you needed to click here to see how many TSBs we have on the fault codes that uses the OPD protocol. In this case, I would like to show how you could find inspiration for your diagnose if we have a fault code that there are no TSBs on the selected car. So we have selected a Peugeot Bieber, we go to bulletins and we enter the fault code, B0100. We press search. And unfortunately, we didn't have any TSPs on the selected car. Now we proceed to the fault codes tab by pressing yes. We are now no longer searching on the Peugeot Bieber, but we are searching on all car brands. And if we go to the PSA, we can see there is actually a TSP on this fault code. We press Peugeot and show document. So we now have a guide on this and it could be related to the Peugeot Bieber because often they use the same technology. So it's for inspirational purpose only, but it can be very helpful if you are stuck in a diagnose. Because of this, we actually had a tip recently. So we updated this TSB. So it now also have the Peugeot Bieber linked to it. Remember, if you want to see more guides to the program, you can always go to the top right and press help. And here we have the videos explaining how to use the program. Thanks for watching this video and please continue to give us new tips on ways that you could see you could improve the program in the Facebook group. Also, if you have uh, new pictures, perhaps better pictures or additional information to existing TSPs, you can share it in the Facebook group or in the program. Thanks for watching. Thank you.